what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this highlight box glitch effect inside of after effects so i've been using this effect recently in some of my videos and it's just a fun way to kind of create different effects in the video and there's a lot of different varieties to this and it's actually a pretty simple effect but i did go ahead and make some presets if you want to go ahead and download those but i did make this intro without using any of them so as you can see you don't really need the presets but if you're kind of i guess lazy or you have the extra money and you just want to support my channel and just buy those presets you can go ahead and do so i'll show you how to install the presets and use them at the end of this video but this video is mainly about how to create this effect so first thing you want to do is obviously have your footage so any kind of footage works honestly you can have like a person or a subject or even like a car um you can really do this effect for any kind of footage it really doesn't matter the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our layer so hitting Control d and i want to highlight his hellstar hoodie right here with this logo so I'm going to trim down the footage to have the first one start almost like a little above halfway. So right here and let's go into this mask tool and it should be on the rectangle. If it's not, then you can just hold down left click and you have all these different options. But I recommend just using the rectangle tool and then you can just go ahead and select around that part that you want to use. Now let's go ahead and hit S on our keyboard to scale this up, scale it, and then you can position it to pretty much wherever you want. Um, you can cover it up like this if you want, so just like scales up like that, or you can go ahead and just like kind of offset it over here, which is what I did in the intro, I'm pretty sure. So something like that. And as you can see, it doesn't totally highlight the logo here. Um, it kind of goes off the screen, which I will show you a solution to that after I kind of do this simpler way. But for this first example, it's super simple. So I don't really go too in depth in tracking it. So yeah, after you have your first cutout, we can go ahead and duplicate this. So by hitting Control D, we can create another layer. And I'm actually gonna trim this down by like two frames and then scale this one up and then put it off to the side like this. So it kind of like layers on top of itself. You can also go ahead and duplicate that layer once again and just go ahead and hit m to delete this original mask on that layer i'm also going to go ahead and scale that way down so i can actually see what i'm doing here and going back into the mask or that rectangle tool i'm just going to create an outline around his face here and then we can have him be in like the top left and then trim this down so yeah just kind of highlighting different things in the video and just having a pop-up i just think this it's a pretty unique style and kind of gives off a Pretty cool look and you could just totally leave it like this but i think adding a few different effects on top of this just kind of helps bring it out a little bit more so what we're going to do is go into our effects and presets and search up bad tv and you can see there's all these different like just presets that are pre-installed in after effects um well i guess just three of them not a whole lot but they're not bad and they're free so might as well use them so what we're going to do is on this first one here, the or I guess the last one I just created, the face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this bad TV too, and it looks pretty good. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but what we're gonna do is delete this bottom one, and then let's delete the wave warp on top. And already that just looks a lot better, looks a lot cleaner. What I will add is called wave warp, and I'm just gonna bring this on top of all of my layers here. I'm gonna change the wave type to noise, Wave height, I'm gonna bring this to like two. And we're actually gonna be changing this later, but that's fine for now. And then let's make the wave width to like 10,000 and then make the direction zero. Now let's go ahead and hold down Alt on our keyboard. It should be something similar on Mac. It should be like Command or Option. So holding down Alt and left clicking on the um, stopwatch there will bring up our expressions. So we're gonna type in posterize time and you can just Hit enter on that and we're going to type in eight for this and then do whatever this is. I honestly don't even remember what that's called, but <laughs> if you have your keyboard, then just type that in and then hit space. And then we're going to type in wiggle. And for inside these parentheses here, I'm going to do 20 comma 50. And these can vary and depend on what you want to go for. But I think this is a pretty good starting value here. And when I play this back, you can see what it looks like. And I just realized I forgot to turn off one of the things on this wave warp effect right here. It's the wave speed. We want to bring this down to zero because, I mean, unless you like the wave or that glitch to be going that fast, then you can keep that. But I prefer to have that wave speed at zero. And you can see now it's just a lot more of a realistic kind of glitch and it's not just <laughs> going crazy. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And what you can do from there is go ahead and select all these effects 
and just paste them onto your other layers. You can also go ahead and change the different phases on these waves just so they're different between the two other layers that I have here. We can also go into this color balance and change the hue percentage. So I'm gonna bring this to like a red kind of color. And then on the one below that, I'm actually gonna bring the saturation all the way down to negative 100. And yeah, there we go. That's pretty much how you create this effect. I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to kind of keep the subject more in frame on that like box or the rectangle. So, so to do that, what you wanna do is go into your tracker, stabilize motion, and you wanna bring this tracker point onto whatever you're playing the kind of like outline or highlight here. So we're just gonna bring this tracker over his face and then go into the analyze and just analyze this forward. So once your tracking is done, you should have all these points here. Then we can just go ahead and hit apply and apply for X and Y. And it should bring you back into your main composition. Let's now go ahead and pre-compose this. So by right clicking it and then hitting pre-compose, you wanna select this one and then also make sure that you hit adjust composition duration so let's go ahead and hit ok now we can go back into this rectangle tool and select his face and you can see that when i play this back it is now inside of that rectangle the whole entire time and it's not like moving around so this is kind of a different effect that you can go for if you prefer this instead of having it kind of leave the frame later on the video because obviously the mask isn't going to be tracked perfectly so and then once again what you can do is just copy those effects and paste it back onto that layer so it's honestly a pretty cool effect and if you're willing to spend the extra time to do that i think it's almost worth it all right so now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually use my presets if you just went ahead and downloaded these then i really appreciate it and they're honestly pretty nice and there's quite the variety of different effects inside of this folder here so what you want to do is it should be in a zip folder but once you unzip it then it'll just be in a regular folder like this you just want to go ahead and right click it and hit copy then go to this pc and then go to your local disk it might look a little bit different on your system but it should be kind of the same and also if you're on mac then obviously it's going to be totally different but hopefully it's pretty similar but from there you want to go to program files go to adobe and then go into adobe after effects and this might be like adobe after effects 2022 or 2023 depending on if you updated your after effects or not you just want to go into there and then go into support files and then find the presets folder and then just hit Control v to paste that um, folder just hit continue and then they should be right in here with all of your other presets that you have installed so then we can go back into after effects here and if you don't see it in your animation presets then you might just have to go into these like three lines here and then hit refresh list and then all of the effects should be updated and you should be able to see all the different presets right here and i'll show you guys really quickly how to use them so so once again i'm just going to create a super simple outline around our subject and highlight his face and for this first effect it's black and white with like a kind of tv glitch effect and then the second one is an infrared kind of look and honestly this one is one of my favorite ones i think this is super cool to use and you can also go into the colorama i think that's how you say it this effect right here and go into the input phase and you can change the phase shift here so doesn't have to be exactly the same kind of color and that goes for all of the different effects in this you can change pretty much everything so all of the effects are super customizable and going into our third effect here this is like a pixeled kind of censored effect and honestly this one's super cool to use especially on like faces so i mean we could highlight <laughs> just multiple faces here if we wanted to and if this like glitch effect is too strong and you kind of want to see more of the person then you can go into here and just bring these numbers up to like 200 so the glitch amount is like i guess less so you can kind of see more of footage and yeah that is the third effect that i have in here the fourth one is just kind of the basic saturated effect but i think this is a super clean effect and you can also go ahead and change the hue here and you can also like stack these layers like i was talking about earlier in the video and then you can like change the hue so they're layered on top and it just I don't know creates a different effect and like i said they're super customizable and moving on to the last one here it's like a vhs tv look this one is also super clean and this is also one of my favorites so yeah so yeah there's a lot of different styles and quite the variety of different effects you can use so if you want to go ahead and download those like i said it'll be linked down in the description below and it just helps my channel a lot if you do go ahead and purchase those but if not it's totally fine you can go ahead and just follow along with the different effects and kind of create your own styles like I said, this intro was created purely just off of what I just showed you guys earlier. Um, so yeah, go ahead and mess around with the effects and let me know if you guys liked this kind of video and I guess 
kind of my raw process of how I created these effects. But if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.